Well, that's my rocket stove from Patriot Metal Works and Smokers. Got a grill top on it, but I'm gonna be using some uh, pan, pots and pans and stuff today. I got some uh, blackjack oak, uh, yard waste actually, and some cardboard in there to get it started. I'll be using some um, small diameter firewood too. Let's get it lit. All right, I got some uh, packing paper with some oil and stuff on it. And a trusty Zippo. And I'll get that going good. All right, it's going strong enough now to get it shut up in there and get this thing lit. Hey, welcome to Big Lou Barbecue. The things I want to do. And what I want to do today is cook some breakfast on my rocket stove. So, good morning. You might not be watching this in the morning, but it's breakfast, so you might be, you know. So, good morning. Uh, buenos dias. Uh, bonjour. And in Cajun French, what they say down here in Louisiana, bon matin. I know that's not proper French, but they'd say that in Cajun French, bon matin. Anyway, um, going to be cooking some breakfast. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can see those flames roaring down there. So it's going good. That roar, can you hear it? That's why they call it a rocket stove. All right, live skillet goes on there, gets hot. All right, I'm gonna lay this bacon in there just like that. Let it get to sizzling. Don't want the skillet too hot, because they say the first batch of bacon, you should start with a cold skillet, let some of that fat render slowly. Uh, and then after that, once you've got the fat rendered out, you can use the other batches in a hot skillet. But um, skillet is starting to warm up quite a bit in this rocket stove. But it's all in there, and uh, let's get it cooking. Bacon smells so much better outside. It smells really good inside. But when you're cooking it outside over fire, and yes, it's a rocket stove, I'm cooking it basically over fire, all right? It's just a little bit easier to manage in a campfire, but it... it uh. Get that open fire smell, you know? A lot of the com combustion gases and stuff are burned off in a rocket stove. Um, that's what makes them so hot when you want to keep them hot, you know? But anyway, flip that bacon over. I don't know if I flipped that one or not. You know what, but I'm gonna flip it again. Anyway, we're gonna let that bacon continue to cook down so we can crumble it up, put it in these grits. So I got, let's see. Half a dozen pieces here, thin pieces. It hadn't been too long and I did turn it over one time before you were, while you weren't looking. I'm gonna turn that one piece over and uh, start taking these other pieces out. I think they are done. So, in fact, I know they are done. All right, let them drip a little bit. Like I said, this bacon in for eating, this bacon is thin, it's okay. It's going in the grit, in the grit. Come here to me. I was letting it drain a little bit. Let both these pieces drain. Come on. There we go. Oh, that stove is hot to reach over. Okay, there's my bacon. And I got a lot of bacon grease here. All right, that's too much grease for the... For the grits so we got to absorb it so you know what i'm doing adding about a tablespoon of butter what you're adding butter to the grease I thought you said there was too much look then i tell you we're doing uh, some french bread toast not french toast french bread toast okay and it's going to help absorb the bacon grease and these are going to these slices are going to be so dang good all right i want some of the grease a little butter and bacon grease on these thick slices of French bread toast. Just like that. Let them toast up. All right, let's flip this toast over. Looking good, looking good, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, even the one with the crust on that side. We'll do it too. Uh, looks like I don't have this on level ground. Seems like every time I bring this out in my backyard, make a video. The spot I put it in is not quite as level. Oftentimes I have it even more level, but look how pretty that toast is. Gonna be good. We're gonna do that side the same way. All right, this toast should be looking good on the other side. Eh. I can let it go a little bit longer. 
That one's looking good, so it's coming out now. All right. I went ahead and crumbled up the bacon uh, while you weren't looking now. But this toast is done. It's gonna be all real pretty. And look, most of the bacon grease is gone, but there's still a little bit left to help flavor the grits. Those crumbs, since I'm outside, I'm just gonna flick most of them out of here. Just flick them out. A few crumbs in the grits, that's all right. But I don't need them all in there. Just flick them out. All right, time for the grits. Now, if you don't know, uh, grits, you want uh, four times the amount of water as the grits. With rice, it's twice the amount of water as the grits. So we're gonna put this in here. Look, you wanna kinda get it in there quick and pour it away from you so that that hot grease doesn't splatter. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. We're also gonna add some salt. Some people add butter to the water, but I've, as you saw, I already added a little bit of butter and we got that bacon, little bit of bacon grease in there. All right, it didn't take long, but this water is boiling. I mixed up the uh, sausage patties while it was there. Once again, a cup of uh, grits to four cups of water, always four times the amount of water as grits, unlike rice where it's two, two times the amount of water to rice. All right, so this is a quick grits, which means they need to boil about five minutes. They're still gonna need to simmer for about uh, 10, maybe 15 minutes, uh, but they're going to need to boil here for about five. I will be stirring occasionally. All right, five minutes is just about up. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and cover these and I'm gonna dampen my fire down. I got a damper down here. I'll show it to you in just a moment. It's a K-style rocket stove. All right, so the fire's hot in there. And there's my damper door. All right, it hadn't been full 10 minutes, maybe just three or four. But um, I think I need to go ahead and put the cheese in here. These grits look about done to me. So I don't want them to burn on the bottom. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and add in the cheese. Now, this uh, cheese needs to go in, in uh, batches. If you've got small hands, uh, maybe just a handful at a time, I use maybe a half or just about that much at a time. Stir that in, get that melted, and then we melt it in others. Now, if you're using Velveeta or something, then you can do it. Yeah, as you see, I had this stove way too hot, uh, but these cheese grits are gonna be good anyway. All right, so those are getting melted in. Add another handful, three, maybe four handfuls like that. But if you add it all in at once, it won't melt well. It'll just cool everything off. And it doesn't melt well, you know? It's, it's a lot faster to use it and put it in in batches. So we get that melted. All right, and you can see these grits are getting real cheesy now. Probably just need one more, but we'll... There's another handful of it. I think I'm gonna make them real cheesy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with four, four batches of cheese in it. Get this melted through. If this was inside, I'd have the stove off by now. Like I said, I just got it kind of dampered down, but I'm gonna be cooking again, so I don't want my fire to go all the way out, you know? All right, yeah, let's go with one more, one more handful of sharp cheddar cheese, just like that, and get that melted in there. So, Kate put it all in there at once, and. You, Really, there's no recipe. Just how cheesy do you want the grits, you know? You want them real cheesy? Put more cheese. You want them less cheesy? Put less cheese. It's up to you. But I like three or four handfuls of it. But I don't dump as much cheese as the one in there all at one time. All right. That's melted. Now, all right. For my next trick, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're just watching this alone. You're not, a, you're not watching this as an audience. I've talked to you like you're my friend. All right. You're watching this by yourself, the way I watch YouTube. All right. Put in those uh, crumbled bacon bits that uh, I crumbled up earlier. They got to get all mixed through there. And we're almost done with the grits. Almost done with the grits. All right. Now that the bacon's all through there, if I had some canned jalapenos, I might chop up some or jarred jalapenos and put a little jalapeno juice in there. Then I'm just going to use that jalapeno Tabasco. Give it a little bit of jalapeno flavor without having to uh, use jalapenos. Get that mixed in. And folks, cheddar bacon jalapeno cheese grits. 
I don't have to say cheese grits. We got cheddar in there. Cheddar bacon jalapeno grits. Like that. And that's going to be one of my favorite parts of the breakfast. All right, sausage and eggs next. This video won't take too much longer. Main recipe is those cheese grits right there. So get this off. I'm gonna keep the lid on it. So they'll stay hot. And get this off of here, just like that. All right, on goes the grill pan. All right, I've opened the damper back up, get this hot. And I'm gonna spray it down. Spray oil in a can. Whoever, whoever invented that is a genius. All right. Doesn't take long and it's already getting hot. And carbon steel heats up faster than cast iron. I know these aren't all too round and that one's probably really bad, but oh well. Could do these in a, on a griddle or a skillet if I wanted to, but you know, I got that wood fire. Let's use some of that wood fire flavor on this sausage. That sausage smells so good. Griddling up on this wood fired rocket stove. And uh, let's flip it. Probably could have flipped them a little sooner, but hey, life goes on. All right, so with them in this grill pan, I could just pull them all off at the same time. So just grab these little lodge handles. Sausages are done. If you stick with me this long, I appreciate it. That's my uh, little skillet there. I need to find my spray oil again. All right, while you weren't looking, I sprayed it down. I've also uh, made this the, uh, I put the last piece of wood I think I'm going to need into the uh, fire there. And we're gonna pour in our eggs. The skillet is not quite hot yet because I just put it on there, but it's gonna get hot and it's gonna cook these eggs, all right? These eggs are beginning to cook up nicely. These eggs, are done and ready to serve. All right, I'm gonna serve my plate and taste test it outside for you. It's such a beautiful April morning. Get some of these bacon cheddar cheese grits. They're still hot and steaming. Look at that. So good, so good. With that jalapeno Tabasco in there. Mm. Excuse me for using my fingers, but I'm eating it, all right? Piece of toast, serve up some eggs. Breakfast is served. Look, I'm gonna put some uh, salt and pepper uh, on my eggs and grits, and then we'll do the taste test. Such a beautiful April morning. We get two out of 12 here in Louisiana. April and October, just beautiful, beautiful months. Everything else is just too hot and oppressive with about three weeks in December and January that are cold and rancid. Like the weekend I got that rocket stove, if you remember those videos. Anyway, um, eggs, salt and peppers on them now. They're good, but I like regular Tabasco on there. So when I go inside and eat, I'm going to put some regular Tabasco. But the eggs are done perfect. Love a hot breakfast sausage. I ain't got time for mild breakfast sausage. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love hot sauce. Hot, everything's got to have cayenne pepper, jalapeno pepper, or whatever. All right. French toast bread. That's French bread toast, not French toast bread. Sorry about that. Delicious, but it's gotten a little cold because I was cooking with one burner on the rocket stove, you know? But good, just the same. I could throw it on. You know what? I'm going to throw that over there right there on that rocket stove and just heat it up a bit. Now, the eggs, I mean the grits. Get some bacon in there. Bacon cheddar grits, a little jalapeno flavor from the Tabasco. Son, woo! I love grits, I love grits. And I like grits with salt, pepper, and hot sauce, and butter. But when you put cheese in them, bacon in them, bacon makes everything better. I don't know how come people don't like grits. I could eat that whole pan of grits. I'm telling you what. Anyway, but I got two uh, about grown children I got to serve. So thank you for spending your morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. It's a beautiful April morning for me to be outside making breakfast over a real wood fire. Not a 
open fire, but a real wood fire in the uh, Patriot Metalworks and the Smokers Rocket Stove. If you haven't checked out their website and what they're doing with the rocket stoves and the other things they make, the foldable grills and the smokers and stuff, check them out. Patriot Metalworks and Smokers. I love this rocket stove. Great way to use small diameter firewood to cook with open fire and get stuff really hot so you're not waiting all day like you are over a campfire. Anyway, I got breakfast to eat. Thank you for watching Big Lou Barbecue.